Good morning, North Point. It's November 8, 2012, and I'm Caitlin Weldon. And I'm Karina Smith. And, and wake up, North, North Point, Point starts, starts right now. now. In school news, North Point academic team competes tonight in the school library. Also in school news, team leader meeting and basketball tonight after school. In the Canton Food Drive, the boys are had taken the lead. The current total is... 129 canned food items for the boys, 105 canned food items for the girls. Come on girls, let's beat those boys. Let's take a look at today's weather. It will be a sun splash Thursday with temperatures slightly below normal, but still very pleasant. We will make it into the middle 50s, a typical high for this time of year in 58 degrees. Fair skies will allow temperatures to fall quickly into the 40s this evening. Overnight temperatures will dip to around freezing by morning with some patchy frost possible. Now on to lunch. Lunch today will be chicken tenders, Salisbury steak, fluffy mashed potatoes, green beans, uh, fresh apples, diced peaches, sliced pears, sliced peaches, 100% fruit juice, uh, and hot rolls. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start off headlines, we're talking about youth sports injuries. An estimate of 1.6 to 3.8 million sports-related concussions happen in the U.S. every year. More than 170,000 of these cases are traumatic brain injuries in kids ages 5 to 18. Football causes more concussions than any other sport, so organizers are trying to minimize the danger a associated with the game. U.S. football, the governing body of America, youth football, recently visited cities across the nation to educate the next general generation of players and parents on head injuries. On July 21st, the protection tour hit the Indiana Farm Bureau Football Center, which happened to be the training Go ground of the Indianapolis Colts. Their young football players learned how to tackle properly and got their helmets accurately fitted. Meanwhile, insurance company Chartis educated parents on head injuries off-field. Zach R., an 11-year-old wide receiver, was present at the event. I learned that without a proper helmet, you will have a better chance of getting more concussions, says Zach. He was also taught how to spot a, a symptom of a concussion in other players. Nathan Lafayette, an insurance executive at Chartis, ha has first-hand experience with the dangers of head trauma. While playing in the National Hockey League more than decades ago, he suffered a massive hit. Dazed. Dazed. He skated over to the opposite team bench, assure, assure, unsure of what he was going on. Trainers sent him back out onto the ice and let him play the rest of the game. But it wasn't until that night that he realized how serious his injury was. He didn't even remember the game he hadn't, had just played. Head injuries eventually forced Lafayette into early retirement. He now works at Chartis and is helping to spread the word about concussions. It has impacted me personally, and now that I'm a parent of two kids, I feel that they, as kids, should know more about it, says Lafayette. Also, if teammates how know more about it, then it's easier to recognize 
to the first concussion. One of the biggest concerns is when the children ha has a second impact. Second impact syndrome occurs when the brain swells after a second concussion while the first concussion has not he yet healed. It is especially dangerous for kids between the ages of 4 and 18 because their brains are still maturing. As a result, there is a higher SIS fatality rate among children. The best way to treat a head injury is to identify it, t it takes uh, them out of potential issues, then ca could cause prolongation of re recovery and then a proper return that safely helps the, them get back into sport, says Dr. Patrick Kersey, a U.S. football medical director and team doctor of the Colts. And that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1895, a German scientist discovers x-rays. And now for our fun fact. Did you know that a cow produces 200 times more gas a day than a person? That's gross. And true. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you tomorrow morning with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.